the use of has, have, and had. All right. So as, have, and had are used basically, basically for two things. One is to express possession. Thank you. One is to express possession. All right. Possession meaning ownership is to tell that someone owns something. Right. That something belongs to somebody. Like I have a phone. Like she has a bag. Like they have. All right. So to express possession that someone owns something then the second one <laughs> all right thank you okay the second one is to express uh, make a sentence in perfect tenses right perfect tenses could be uh, present perfect tense or past perfect tense all right saying that something happened in the past and is still on so let's look at this again when the subject of course the subject of a sentence is the focus of that sentence usually the first word in the first part of the sentence that's usually where you have the subject so the subject of a sentence could be maybe a noun could be pronouns right so when you have he third person singular when you have he you want to use has this is it basically has is singular while have is plural has is singular while have is plural what does that mean as is used for one person one thing one place whereas have is used for more than one have is used for two three four and so on and so forth all right so he one person he has she one person she has eat one thing as all right present when it's for the present tense then singular nouns also like amt as like uh, alima has like uh milto as and so on and so forth as singular nouns then when you have we i'll come back to i when you have we plural pronoun you're going to have have we have all right when you have they they have not they has but they have we have now these two words i and you you could be singular you could be plural singular in the sense that you could be referring to one person and plural in the sense that it could be referring to more than one person so i can be talking to one person i say you and i can be talking to a class and i say you you all in this case it is plural so if it is plural of course have but if it is singular it also goes with have this i and you these two words they go with the have uh, this they go with the have they go with have and have all right not as not as now in the past tense they are all going with had for example if i want to say I had a bicycle. I owned a bicycle last year. I would say I had a bicycle last year. I would not say, or even if it's he, he had, all right? Even if it's she, she had a bicycle. Even if it's it, it had a tail. What happened to the tail? It had a tail the last time I saw it. And, and so on and so forth. So the past tense is had. Now these two are actually present tense. Has is singular, have is plural, all right? Now, some of the things we need to take note of, and then I'll just go um, over some questions. I'll read out some questions, and then we answer them. Okay. So now I said has is singular, but have is plural. Two, no definite time goes with yeah. So you don't use a definite time immediately. You have has, have, had. All right. So you don't say um, you don't say he has gone yesterday. No, you don't use time. All right. You don't say they have gone last week they have done it last week no when you're going to use a definite time you want to use the word for or since for or since for or since if you're going to state the time after the sentence all right so when you use for when you use this you use for when you your time is having number like two weeks like five months like ten years you use for right but you use since when there is no time and no number. For example, she has gone for two hours. They've done it for the past five years. But he left, yeah, okay, he has gone since yesterday. Um, they have done it since last week. Since, all right, so last week, no number. Yesterday, no number. But the moment you have number, like, um, Two weeks, then you say four for two weeks. Alright? 
they have they have done it they have he has done it they have done it for right when you have numbers you use four when you don't have numbers you use six another one we need to take note of is the ad for previous events so when you use ad now apart from ownership now we want to come to the tenses the perfect tenses when do you use ad to express perfect tenses you use ad when you have two events all right two um, happenings two events but there is a previous one so hard is used for a previous event for example i called you it's a past action now then you came to my house it's also a past action now these are two events now the previous one i called you so i would say if i want to put in a sentence i'll say i had called you all right now this is where you now have like the words like before or after or hardly at high or those kind of words all right so before like i called you i had called you rather before you came you don't say i have called all right so this is what we call the past perfect tense the past the, the perfect tense is we have the present perfect tense in the present perfect tense you have the word has an app that's why you use has an app right he has done it it's not talking about ownership now it's not talking about somebody having something it's talking about an action that has taken place that has happened that has been done right so he has seen the woman i have seen your work they have fetched the water he has gone home they have visited and so on and so forth but in the past perfect you don't use has you don't use have use had all right so um, she had done it she had paid me the money before i took it over to her place so had that's in the past perfect the next one says verb after has had or had should be in past participle so when you have a verb after has have or had the verb should be in the past participle form when you have a verb after has have or had the verb whoa halima is halima thank you for the rose thank you for the and thank you congratulations for the i think this is the first gift i'm getting from halima okay so if you have has have or had you don't you don't your verb should not be in present tense your verb should not be in past tense your verb your verb should be in the past participle the, um, um, past participle tense thank you mt thank you for the rules so again i say if you have your if you have as have or had your verb should not be in present tense your verb should not be in past tense your verb should be in the past participle so you have present tense past tense past participle go went gone so if you are having has have had you want to use gone all right so he has gone they have gone we are gone you don't say he has go you don't say he has went you don't say uh, they are went um, or use gone all right another one eat at eating the past participle so you are going to use eating larex you're going to use eating all right not eat not at right wrote written you're going to use written that's if you have in the in the, in the perfect tense is like you're having as or have all right or add even you're going to use eating not eat not at right um road reading of course there are some that they are the same like put 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 like cut 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 like broadcast 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 and then the word like come the past participle is the same with the present maybe maybe i don't know if we we'll have time some other time to look at present the, the tenses all right so come came come he has come they have come they have come all right so whenever you have has have or had the verb should be in the past participle form another thing that should be noted is that had is preferred in reported speech so if you are reporting this if you have a reported speech or even in even in the what do we call the conditional sentences had is preferred if i had all right if i had known that not if i have if i had conditional right or reported speech she said she had and not she said she have all right reported speech had is preferred also in conditional sentence so these are some of the things we want to take note of all right when you come to have the verbs as have and add now we're going to take some exercises some questions and then um, let's let's uh, work on our knowledge here we got to the all
we got to the hall after the play. Dash. After the play, dash. Hey. After the play is started. B. After the play was starting. C. After the play had started. And D. After the play has started. Okay, we have E also. After the play would start. So we got to the hall after the play dash. We got to the hall after the play he started. After the play was started. After the play had started. After the play has started. After the play would start. We got to the hall after the play. This is the answer. Would start. What is the correct option? Is it after the play started? Alima says D also. Okay, has started. C has started. D, Fabi has started. Kenny has started. Aisha has started. Fabi says has started. Hello, PRT comedy. Good evening. D has, has started. So, when I was talking about when I was talking about this, add is used for a previous event. I said this is where you see the words before, after, I had hardly, hardly had I, and so on and so forth. Now, when you see these words, thank you PNT community, thank you for the roses. When you see these words, it means there are two events. There was one and there's another. There's one and there's another. Now, if you're talking about the one, the previous one, you're going to use had, right? I had gone home. I had gotten home, rather. Thank you, um, Vicky. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. So I had gotten home before the rain started. All right? After I had gotten home, the rain started. Whatever way you want to say it, had. Thank you again, Vicky. All right? So had. We got to the hall after the play had started. We got to the hall after the play. In other words, the play, another way we can rephrase this to say, the play had started before we got to the hall. So that would be the answer. C. We got to the hall after the play had started. Let's look at the next one. The teacher asked The teacher asked if she dash seen a boyfriend recently Options A eh? As B half C was and B half. Okay, so the teacher asked if she dash seen her boyfriend recently. The teacher asked if she has seen her boyfriend recently. If she have seen a boyfriend recently, if she was seen a boyfriend recently, if she had seen, if she has, if she, yes, please let's let us share the live if we've not done so and um, keep liking, power tapping so that um, 
others will also be notified, right? So the teacher asks if she what? That's seen a boyfriend. If she has, if she have, if she was, if, if she had. As, 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 as. Everybody is going for A. Okay. But notice, look at this. The teacher asked. That's a past event. That's that's a past tense, right? So when that's like a past event. Now she is asking if something had happened. In other words, that was a previous one. So she's asking of a previous event. This is a past action asked because it's past tense. So if this is present tense, the teacher asked. Then if she asks, but because this is asked past tense, all right, this will become if she had seen, and this will be the answer. So we use had when you have when we are talking about an action before a past action. A past action, the one before the past action. That's when we use had. Hello, Vicky. Hello, welcome. So an action before a past action. That's when we use had. So the teacher asked past action, all right? So if she add, thank you again, Vicky. So add, that's a past action before, a previous action before a past action. That's when we use add, all right? So the answer is had. The teacher asked if she had seen her boyfriend recently, all right? The next one. No sooner no sooner had the examination started no sooner okay ended sorry dash the students Started vacating the halls of residence. So, A. When? B. That. Then B before E and all right. So no sooner had. By the way, whenever you have no sooner, blah blah blah, you're going to have than. Oh, I've even said it. Okay, that's the question. I think I've said the answer. No sooner had the examination ended that the students uh, started vacating the halls of residence. So the answer is that. No sooner, something, 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 than, alright? So when you have no sooner had something, the next thing you're going to have is than something, alright? So no sooner had, it's just like uh, something happened before another one. So no sooner had the examination ended than the students started vacating the halls of residence. So this happened previously, like almost immediately, then uh, this, uh, this started happening. So these are two events. The examination ended, the students started vacating the also. By the way, you can see this is past this. So that's the answer. The sentence is even correct without the dash. Yeah, this is the, the, this is the missing word, done. So when you have no sooner had, you're going to have done. All right? The next one, number five, I dashed him before he came into the room, before he came into the room, A, I dashed him before he came into the room, A, I have seen him. 
indeed I have not seen him see I used to see him and be I I see him okay and we have e I had I had him okay so that's the question I dashed him before he came into the room I have seen him before he came into the room I have not seen him before he came into the room I used to see him before he came into the room okay I think this should be at scene it probably means the word but oh, this should be for this it should be I had seen okay so I dashed him before he came into the room I have seen him before he came into the room I have not seen him before he came into the room I used to see him before he came into the room I have seen what's the correct answer D, I've seen. Okay, everybody's going with it. That's the answer. A previous event before a past event. A past event, he came into the room, but before this, there was a previous event. Add. So I had seen him. That's the answer. I'd seen. Correct. Alright, number six. Monishola is sure to pass in September. Okay. Monishola is sure to pass in September. She dashed hard since the beginning of the day. She dashed hard since the beginning of the term options option A says she had been working hard option B says she was working hard option C says she is working hard Option D says she would work hard. Option E, there is E. It says she has been working. Has been working. Okay. Monishola is sure to pass in September. She dashed hard since the beginning of the term. Is it she had been working hard since the beginning of the term? I mean, hello. She was working since the beginning of the term. She is working since the beginning of the term. She would work since the beginning of the term, or she has been working hard since the beginning of the term. She is. I can say is 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 working. Monishola is sure to pass in September. She dashed hard since the beginning of the term. Vicky says hey, she had been working. Okay, Kenny says D, Yella says C, it's working. When is she like short to pass in September? The dash had since the beginning of the term. She has been working hard since the beginning of the term. She was working hard since the beginning of the term. She is working hard, she would work. She has been working hard since the beginning of the term. The correct answer is E. Not A. You use hard. When you have a past action, a previous action before a past action. So the only action here or event is this, been working. This one is just a statement, not an action, she short to pass, like now. So what happened in the past? She, had, she has been working. She has been working. But if it's Monishola um, passed, Monishola passed, then it will be because she had but this is present tense, alright? So you are going to have, she has been working. So this is the correct answer. She has been working. Again, if this was to be passed, then you have had been working. Monishola passed 
in September. She had been working hard. But Monishola is sure to pass in September. She has been working hard. So the answer is E and not A. Yeah. So let's move on. The next one says, when I met Amadi yesterday, when I met Amadi yesterday, come on. When I met Amadi yesterday, it was the first time I dashed in. It was the first time. It was the first time I dashed in for six months. A had seen B the first time I saw C the first time I have been what I have just I have been okay and D the first time I have been seen So, when I met Amadi yesterday, it was the first time I dashed him for six months. It was the first time I had seen him for six months. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, thank you again. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, when I met Amadi yesterday, it was the first time I had seen him for six months. It was the first time I saw him for six months. It was the first time I have been... That's the option. Him for six months. And B, it was the first time I have been seeing him. What's the correct answer? Uh, option? Can you say it's B? B he saw the first time I saw him. Um, Aisha says A. The first time I had seen him for six months. Uh, Abraham at C says A. The first time I had seen him for six months. Okay. When I met Amadi yesterday, uh huh, it was the first time I dashed him for six months. Joy says B. I saw. The girl says B. Okay. That's the answer. The answer is A, not B. I had, when I met him, past action. It was the first time I had seen him for six months. And again, remember, I said whenever you are using four, that you are going to, it use four for a numerical definite time. A definite time that has number for six months. But if this is months, it just is uh, uh, um, no number, like since last year, since whatever. But because you are having number, that's why it's for six months. So when I met Amadi yesterday, it was the first time I had seen him. It was the first time I had saw him. It was the first time I have been seeing him. It was the first time I have been seeing him. It was the first time I had seen him. When I met him, it was the first time I had seen him for six months. Yes. All right. So let's move on. Uh, maybe two more, and then we two more, and then we quit. Um, Good, this one. This one says, dash him in the crowd. Dash him in the crowd. I would have told you at once. Dash him in the crowd, I would have told you at once. If I will see him, B. If I saw him, C. If I had seen him, D. Should I see him? So, dash him in the crowd, I would have told you at once. If I, if I will see him in the crowd, I would have told you at once. If I saw him in the crowd, I would have told you at once. If I had seen him in the crowd, I would have told you at once. Should I see him in the crowd, I would have told you at once. 
C, C, C. If I had seen him, C, okay. That's the answer, okay? Everybody is getting it. If I had seen him in the crowd, I would have told you. I would have told you if I had seen him, right? So, I would have told you at once if I had seen him. That's the answer. Okay. The next one. And by the way, that's a, that's a, that's a, I said, ad is referred in reported speech. So not just in report, reported speech, but also conditional statement, like if. Statement that I have in if, if this, if, the preferable one is ad. If I had seen him, I would have. Okay, she, she has been here, she has been here dash the past three years. She has been here dash the past three years. A, since the past three years. B, for the past three years. C from the past three years. D in the past three years. She has been here that's the past three years. Since the past three years, for the past three years, from the past three years, and in the past three years. Hello, welcome. Aisha says it's B for the past three years. Larry says B for the past three years. We all use B, okay? Kenny says A since the past three years. Service says B for the past three years. B Alima. Vikiela B. Uh, Mememan A since the past three years. Abraham says Joy says B. Abraham says B. Iwa B. B. Okay. Three years. This we said. No definite time is used after us. You don't say she has gone on yesterday. You don't say she has gone on last week. Alright? So if you are going to put a time like the past three years, that you're going to use either for or since. Now when do you use for when do you use since? You use for when you have number. Three years. In this case we have number. Three years. That's a numerical definite time. Alright? So the answer is four. She has been here for the past three years. If you just have um, uh, the uh, last week. You're going to have since last week. You will just have yesterday. Since yesterday, all right? No number. But we have number here, so that's the answer. For the past three years. The answer is B. She has been here for the past three years. That's the answer. The last one. The last one. Musa. Musa asked. Musa asked Usman. What he does? What he does since he last saw him. Musa asked Usman what he does since he last saw him. Option A says what he has been doing. Option B says what he had been doing. Option C says what he has done. Option D says what he was doing and option E says what he might be doing. So Musa asked Usman what he does since he last saw him, what he has been doing since he last saw him, what he had been doing since he last saw him, what he has done since he last saw him, what he was doing what he might be doing a a b b a a is like what he has been doing 
be what he had been doing. Okay. All right. So what's her answer? What's her answer? Musa asked this man what he does since he last saw him. That he must say speak. What he has been doing since the last saw him. What he had been doing since the last saw him. What he he has done. What he was doing. What he might be doing. Okay. So Musa asked Usman. This is a past action. So before this, all right. So Musa asked Usman of an event that was previous, prior to this, before prior to this asking. Musa asked Usman what he the correct word should be had. What he had. Alright, so the answer is B. What he had been doing. What because it's a it's a progress continuous um, tense. What he had been doing till that moment, all right? Since then, till that moment. So Musa asked Usman what he had been doing since he last saw it. So the answer is B. Yeah. What he had been doing. That's the answer. Musa asked. Past action. Then the action preceding this, you use what had. So that's the answer. What he had been doing. All right. So we're going to stop here. We're going to stop here.